fellow pathway citizens this is your administrator Alexander one theory welcoming you to the pathway video series today's highlight is exploring Judaism in pathway this community is reserved for all our Jewish and non-Jewish friends Anybody that supports diversity is welcome, and it is an area that will be further expand in the recent next updates, and uh, to see what new things we could add to this location. I'll take you step by step to various highlights okay let's go and see the synagogue first so in pathway we have various monotheism and polytheism locations as you may have discovered in our photos in social media this is the this is the tour I will be giving you today. So this is inside the synagogue. Years ago, I called this the tabernacle, which is a similar term, and it could go either way as tabernacle or synagogue, but whatever works best for you to understand is good so eventually we will put movies here that uh, showcase Jewish literature and history and in our other locations in Christian literacy Islamic literacy Buddhism literacy Hindu literacy Sikhism literacy folk re re religions and other ones to uh, share the wealth of understanding and acceptance of one another and to expand upon the project. So this is a, a mess hall that we'll work on adding tables and booths. Right now we're just keeping it basic under wraps. So there's a little lounge area if you want to sit. We're working on updating the furniture when the moment pres is present. And there's various interactive objects such as this chair here that one can sit. And uh, attend a prayer ceremony at this moment we're working on collaborating with people to have a rabbi which would be interesting so right now we have uh, this gentleman here preaching uh, with the Torah and uh, the menorah that is interactive so in the days of Hanukkah you could add the days and uh, that's something unique and the Star of David and the Torah scrolls we're working on making it more uh, modern but we like the traditional sense too so follow us to the lighthouse and then following up to that will be the um, Bev's Bokertoff Diner. And that's one, those two locations are, um, it are featured in this video tour today. We also have a university hospital that uh, is something unique that we have that I'll discuss. But before I forget, I want to show you the wall 
over here. And it has an interactive video about the Western Wall and uh, history. So if you like, you just click on the home button and you'll see a video up here over here. But please be in mind to uh, to uh, not record when you watch this video because there might be uh, something that uh, pops up and it might not be the video so be careful. I recommend watching in your browser and uh, seeing it from there. So anyone is able from all faiths and backgrounds if you wish to pray here, pray here just respect other people's boundaries and uh, be courteous to your fellow person this is the library many times I, I um, put computers and desks but I've been moving this so many times that often uh, under what why this is here um, that I often just rearrange a lot of stuff so originally I had plan was to put computers here and uh, I did but I since I moved it to another location I gotta work on it again but it'll come through So very quickly, I'll show you the, the university hospital. We plan to have interactive sessions for um, for learning about sciences in uh, in the world. Okay, so this is our our vehicle truck, our ambulance. It is drivable, but uh, we uh, we don't necessarily use it all the time. It's there for um, showcasing a a virtual reality aspect of like a hospital. This is Nurse Betty. Hello, Nurse Betty. She is the the host, and then there's the check-in computer, and then we have a little adorable dog in the window next to one of uh, a client, and. Uh, And so, that's the story with this. Okay. Very quickly, I'll show you around the hospital. Eye checkup, scale, doctor, patients, and all this is fictional, so it's just how it is, a skeleton, little charts, a patient bed, file, cabinet, there's a cool x-ray machine. I'll show you momentarily. This is for the dentistry. And it actually is pretty interactive. You lay down and you get checked up. An exam. And uh, it's pretty cool. I mean, feel free if you want to try things out and go on these things. 
it's fine just uh, be polite with uh, the people you know that you know may be doing a uh, interactive study so just mind you know the courtesy of people who might be professors in nursing and they may want to have a teaching session here or something so just be mindful to that so this was the cool x-ray I was mentioning one of them and uh, cognition and full body x-ray MRI I'll show you in a minute it's pretty cool So you go here and you get a full frontal lobe scan on the terminal and then the scan and body. Pretty unique. <laughs> Sometimes if an object is too close to a wall it will always uh, have this situation happen but don't be afraid or alarmed it's per perfectly no normal. My doctor in the operation room. And another doctor. Checking on a patient. There's more to see upstairs, but uh, let's carry on with the, the other parts of this community area. So, something very interesting is this, uh, this lighthouse I wanted to talk about. This lighthouse is a uh, very unique and I'll show you how it looks like in, in midnight. So it's pretty bright. You could see it. And let's keep it on sunset. And you could see it on the sunset. With that amazing sunset view. So... Let's carry on and let's go inside the lighthouse. So there's a couch in there. It's considered, um, you know, like general moderate adults. So just keep in mind if you wanted to role play and have... Uh, an adult encounter, don't do it necessarily here. If unintentional, it's, we understand, but please try to do it uh, in your house or your residence because we don't want anybody to be disturbed. So this is the inside of it. It's still relatively loading, so some things might show up and some things might not, texture-wise. So that's how it looks like inside. The, the sunset and the window and that's pretty much it from the inside so spend spend time here we, we really don't put any kind of limits and we welcome new and returning users so don't worry pathway will never put any kind of security measure for Checking in avatar's age, this is something that we see in, in a virtual world, and they do this. And it's kind of disturbing because it kind of limits, you know, the, um, the diverse, diversification, diversity too. And uh, we are all open to our all our members, and we don't want to restrict any of them. So... Don't worry if you're one day old in Pathway, one hour old, one second old, or you are, you know, 10 years, like, the duration of your account status. So if you're 20 years with us, we appreciate that. If you're, you know, necessarily just create an account this year, 
then you know that's great too so I mean the the idea of this concept of age is um, I'll show you in a second it is uh, when you created your character in the virtual world in the virtual universe or pathway and so that's the thing uh, I'm just putting a a support beam I have no clue why this is all of a sudden uh, collapsing on me I think um, there's an issue with the physics so it's not my concern it's uh, source code and uh, unfortunately I can't go through the source code because the thing is it's something that is by default so the thing is uh, just bear in mind if there's some things like that happening please be patient with us and we'll try to do our best to go around it so that seemed to fix this bug so that's a good thing oh still there a little bit okay so sit and I'll look at with you the sunset We got a sailboat over here and a little adorable puppy. So these are our new uh, design features. Well, not new because we had them before, but uh, these are these little characters. Uh, they uh, they interact. They usually stay stationary, but we have we have some. Well, we we have some characters of them moving so that's a cool thing to see and uh, the fisherman he's uh, he caught a big tuna so I'll show you in a moment the big tuna so see how uh, he moves and then he looks at the sunset and then eventually he goes back and he wants to fish. <laughs> okay. So this is the tuna he caught recently. Alright. So let's show you the diner and then call it a day. So this is Bev's Boker Talk. A very quaint little diner still under development this is our host check-in these are our um, non-player characters that um, you guys can interact with but they don't communicate back because they're uh, essentially like robots but it's nice that uh, you have somebody that welcomes you in and actually uh, I set up this program where you actually will be welcomed in by them because there's a, a thing I have sometimes it shows and sometimes it doesn't but it, it's a greeting message it says welcome back and and then um, enjoy your stay and uh, or something it says uh, have a seat now sometimes when it really shows I really I get happy because you know it's working again because sometimes when there's updates in the in the open source sometimes it changes if it's functional or it's uh, needing to be updated so these are some uh, record vinyls that uh, that was provided to us and um, and it's kind of cool um, to showcase these different things, singers and musicians. And then we want to host parties here. It could be birthday parties, weddings, uh, all those kind of things. So, I mean, that is about it. We have more videos that show you in the future. And uh, stay tuned. Hope to see you soon. All right. Signing out, Alexander, one theory of Pathway Universe.
We hope to see you soon. Remember to subscribe to Pathway Universe on YouTube and follow us on social media, Pathway Universe. See you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.